the temperatures are going up and the nightlife is getting hotter. So how safe are your children at area clubs? CBS2 security analyst Robert Strang is here now to take a look at one club drug that has become law enforcement's worst nightmare. Robert. That's right, Ernie, and also parents' worst nightmare. It's the agony of ecstasy, and it's spiraling out of control. The drug is known on the street as Adam, Hug, Beans, and Love. Right here on our own home turf, law enforcement is fiercely trying to battle this beast that's killing our children. Pulsating music, a techno light show, people dancing, looks like a party scene. But just ask former drug users Sophia and Anthony, and they'll tell you it's the perfect backdrop for getting high on the lethal drug ecstasy. The club scene is a big hot spot to use. Ecstasy nowadays is like marijuana was in the 70s and crack cocaine was in the 80s. Today's times, everybody's doing ecstasy. Got really curious and ended up buying a pill, taking it, and I fell in love with it. CBS2 obtained this surveillance video from the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration. According to DEA Special Agent in Charge, Anthony Placido, ecstasy abuse has reached an all-time high. In the last six to eight months here in the New York area is a number of significant seizures of over a million dosage units of this drug at a time. Ecstasy and predatory club drugs can and will rival the crack epidemic that we saw in the 1980s here in New York. 22-year-old Anthony Saglabeni, now a counselor at Daytop Drug Rehab, says as summer kicks in, so will ecstasy use. Graduation, prom parties, especially May, June, is a big time for ecstasy use. This is when parents should be you know, aware, cops should be aware. In a study conducted by the Partnership for a Drug-Free America, one out of nine teens has tried ecstasy. And incredibly, almost 50% don't view the drug as harmful or dangerous. It continues to be marketed as safe, benign, non-addictive. But the drug which removes anxiety, inhibitions, and magnifies sensation can cause brain damage, kidney, and cardiovascular failure and death. Special Agent Placido says that law enforcement would like nightclubs to be more aggressive in cracking down on ecstasy use. It's like selling admission to a suicide. Somebody's got a jumper up on the roof. The moral obligation is to try and talk them down. Instead, we've got a whole industry that's built around profiting from it. Put the sign here. But the New York Nightlife Association says the only way we can make progress is if law enforcement and club owners fully cooperate with each other. They should be reaching out to us more, not in an antagonistic fashion, in an attempt to play gotcha, but in how do we work with business owners to ensure that security is up to snuff, uh, that we can recognize when somebody is on a designer drug. As for Sophia and Anthony, they'd love nothing more than to be able to save a life by getting their message out. Ecstasy is not worth it. It's not worth doing. Um, it's a very powerful drug. It can take control of your life. For more information or help, you can call Daytop Drug Rehab at 1-800-2-DAYTOP. Joining me now is addiction psychiatrist Dr. Ann Beter from New York Presbyterian Hospital. Welcome, man. Thanks for joining us. I, I know you deal with the most severe cases. You're in the emergency room. Um, people go to you when there's a, a crisis. If you could, just tell parents how they can help their teenagers. That's a good question, Bob. The three most important things I think parents can do to help their children be equipped so that they don't have to end up in daytop or an emergency room is to, number one, ask your kids questions. Find out about what they know about the drugs, if any of their friends use drugs. Often parents tell me that if they ask their kids or talk about drugs, it may encourage them to use them. And that's sort of a myth that I think um, if you do begin to talk about it, kids will talk back, and that's really a good thing. The second thing that I think is important is to learn about the drugs. For instance, ecstasy, which is an amphetamine with hallucinogenic properties that has enticing things that make people want to take it, also has terrible side effects and in some cases causes death. If you know about the drugs, the kids will take you seriously. And otherwise, it's very hard to convince anyone that you know better than they do. And it doesn't necessarily help to talk. The third thing is, become a useful resource for your kids. That is, if you can't talk to them yourselves, find another person who can, whether it's a friend or, or someone like you, right? Yeah, or, or, or so the 800 number. That's right. right. Or even yeah. uh, another kid who might have had a bad experience. Thanks so much for seeing us. Ernie, back to you.